Anderson are identical twins and psychics. They predicted important events from the two stock market crashes to the 9-11 terror attacks and the election of George Bush before he was even a candidate. Whatever. Please welcome authors of Psychic Intelligence, Terry and Linda Jameson. <laughs> So you two, I mean, you connect telepathically. Yes, what does do. that mean? Well, ever since we were in the womb, we were the smartest guys in the womb, we say. The smartest guys in the womb? <laughs> yes, we were telepathic. We With call it twin tuition, Joy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. But a lot of twins, or many twins, seem to have this connection where they know things that the other is doing. Some one will break a leg and then the sure. other one will know about it. Between so, chest yeah. pain between and between yeah. ankle, yes. So how does that translate outside of you? Because it's kind of rare to find twin mm. psychics. Yes, it's very, very rare. We're the only ones in the world, actually, that are proven. Right. Like twin John psychics. Edward in stereo. Uh, <laughs> do you, do you always well, people call us Nostradamus and stilettos, uh, Joy. Do you uh, always have the same prediction? Is there any sort of subtle yes. difference in it? And then talk about it? Or how, no, how we always channel about? the same information even if mm. we're in two different rooms. Yes, it's always. a little weird. It's freaky. That's weird. Do you it's fake freaky. each other's orgasms? Oh, oh that's a new one. I've never heard that before. <laughs> We have talked about uh, some of your past predictions, but by far the most famous one was 9/11. Right. Now we are we're going to take a look at some of your the, the writings and some of your thoughts. These were thoughts that you said came to you two years mm -hmm. before the event. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I got to ask you, when when 9/11 actually happened, yes, what did you think? Did you, uh, had you tried to warn anybody oh. before it happened? Yes, in fact, Sherry, we predicted it on international radio in November 2nd, 1999. To millions. Of people. To millions, maybe 20 million people heard that prediction in detail. And it's through our automatic writing, we got all that specific information about exactly what transpired. Yeah, we were horrified. Given day. that, why well, hasn't the it, has day. the government contacted oh. you to help them with the The government future? actually shut down our website mm -hmm. and all the sites that had our predictions on it but at the time. They didn't decide to use you in any way or well, look we into have. it? Here? We've worked for the Pentagon. We have worked in, with Project Foresight. You have. Yeah, but we're not allowed to talk about we it. We have to kill you well, now. You just did. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you, can you predict the next attack? God forbid? Yes. Well, you I can. Mean, we've predicted all of them since us. then. So okay, well, well, we've predicted we, a dozen. We're upon the 10th anniversary of yeah, September yeah. 11th. Is, what are we what looking at? Here? There's two terrorist attacks being plotted right now in New York, one in Washington, D.C., one in New York. We feel they'll both be thwarted, and we're praying they'll be thwarted. Airports. Don't get too complacent, you guys, yeah. really. Right. Don't Something get too Oh, feels like September, <laughs> October. York. But that also makes sense given the anniversary coming up yeah, and heightened it, it security, makes sense, et but, uh, but we get this, uh, whether it's, you know, the anniversary or not, we've predicted most of the terrorist attacks wow. that have happened. Wow. Is, this, is this a family trait? Do you come from no. psychics? Our parents, or the... our parents are not even slightly intuitive, Whoopi. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not at all. They're not. And for us, it was not inherited. Yeah. No. Right. So when you started getting, and I want to ask you, do you see it? Do you feel it? Do you? You ah, get it like John, how does how do you read it? All of the above. All of the above. You know, it's uh, we teach about the four mm -hmm. clairs in our book, right. Whoopi, and it's clairsentience, clairaudience, clairvoyance, and claircognizance, and they're all different ways we can all access information mm -hmm. outside the realm of the five senses. Everyone has so, intuition. Yeah. You know, right. Are you are you frustrated yeah. when people are not receptive to what you're telling them? Uh, yeah, yes. but you know, it, we don't Very expect much. skeptics yeah. to converge just because yeah. we've proven it. Okay. Yeah. We we just, we just really resent when they don't look at our track record, and we've made hundreds of predictions in the media that have all happened, and it's so. available on our website. What confuses me about psychics is why don't you predict for yourselves what's the, the stock market or who's going to win we, the next yeah, horse do race? You use it yeah. for, do you use it like a for personal, personal game, like the lottery? You do. No. Numbers? Uh, not you don't. for personal gain because then you'll lose your gift. That's what we yeah. were taught, you'll, Joy. You'll lose your gift. Yes. Yes. Can you yes. give me the for next sure. lotto number? I'm not going to have a gift. <laughs> other predictions because going forward in the future here you say there's some unsettling weather coming this fall yeah is that right we've seen a pretty major hurricane Cat five. 
Cat 4 or 5 hitting uh, the East Coast, Florida, North Carolina, Georgia. Yeah, It'll yeah, affect like many Katrina states. Again, or? Uh, no, no. Nothing quite Katrina level. Okay. No, we're not Does seeing that. Does this interfere with your sex lives and your love lives at all, really? I mean, I would think a man, a man would be highly That's intimidated by very. this rap. Man, oh, we yeah. scare them to death. They leave skid marks around it. They cannot stand. Oh, we read their so minds on. constantly on dates. No! Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Do you this go out scary. on double dates? Sure. Sometimes. With twins. We date twins. I, sometimes. With, with, with other twins? With other twins. Who are not psychic. They date twins. They're no. not psychic. Mm -hmm. They're magicians. They I, did a disappearing act. <laughs> <laughs> predict the future as you say has been proven you also can see a little bit into the past so oh, yes, in, in terms of past someone's lives. past lives that's right so we do past lives elizabeth if you're comfortable we're gonna go back in time <laughs> we'll be you with it are you ready? Whoopi's open. Whoopi, sure. are you ready? You know you're first, if you say yes, yes. we'll give you the final option to opt Well, uh, sure. you're open. We talk about a sister act. You actually were a nun. In 17th century Germany, you were a cloistered nun. Wow. So there's the resonance with the sister act. Did you ever have a sense of that? Well, I think I told you guys at one point I had thought about becoming a nun. Right. But no that way. was something that, 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 Absolutely. that had been in my And I heard you laugh. <laughs> Joy was definitely a Republican in her past life. Oh, well, you I know what? You were. Joy was a barrister in 18th century that England. Oh, yes, that a speaks lawyer. to a male, a male lawyer. You were a man in many, many past many lives. Past really? Lives. Many. But, I but you had seven children. Night life. I had seven yeah, children in Sicily. Even I was in, a man. Sicily. in Sicily. You were a you mother of seven, seven children, children in, 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 in ancient I'm life. I'm like the Octomom. <laughs> <laughs> so absolutely amazing. We want to thank Terry and Linda Jameson. Members of our audience are going home with a copy of Psychic Intelligence.